Samsung Getty Apple Apple iPhone 10 and Samsung Galaxy Note 8 have been pitted against one another in a new video test with the iPhone 10. Apple decided to eschew a number of the faster LTE technologies available in rival handsets. The flagship smartphone, which starts at £999 and tops out at an eye-watering £1,149, is compatible with current 4G technologies, but cannot enjoy the same blistering gigabit LTE speeds as many Android devices. By contrast, Samsung has wholeheartedly embraced next-generation cellular technologies in its handsets. YouTube creator Board 8 Work has pitted the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 against the iPhone 10 to show the difference these new LTE technologies can make. The video shows the staggering difference in download and upload speeds between the handsets, with the Galaxy Note 8 consistently twice as fast as the iPhone 10. Board 8 Work used the T-Mobile mobile network in New York City and San Jose. For example, when testing in New York, the iPhone 10 tops out with download speeds of 30 megabits per second and upload speeds of 44 megabits per second, according to the YouTube video. However, the Galaxy Note 8 delivered download speeds of some 101 megabits per second and upload speeds of 42 megabits per second. Board 8 Work notes that the comparison in the video is not scientific, and the fact the test was conducted using publicly available tools could mean the data is a little off. However, it does appear the latest Samsung smartphone offers consistently faster download speeds than its iOS rival. The news comes as Samsung is hard at work on its next flagship smartphone, Galaxy S9. The all-new handset is tipped to include the same dual-camera setup that ships on the Galaxy Note 8. Saturday, September 30, 2017 Apple iPhone X and Pictures The dual camera system uses a secondary, telephoto lens to create 2x optical zoom on your photographs. Both rear cameras sport optical image stabilization OIS to help produce clear photos, even in low light. Samsung also uses the dual cameras to artificially render a DSLRS tile bokeh effect behind the subject of the photograph. Dubbed Live Focus, the feature lets you take bokeh shots to help the subject stand out. And unlike the iPhone, Samsung lets you adjust the level of background blur after the photo has been taken. Elsewhere, the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus will purportedly boast an improved facial recognition system to improve security. Samsung Galaxy Note 8 owners can adjust the strength of the bokeh effect. Neither of these rumored features have been confirmed by Samsung. Alongside the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus, Samsung is widely tipped to launch an all-new smartphone, Galaxy X. This new flagship will reportedly boast a foldable OLED display. The futuristic new smartphone will purportedly fold out to the size of a tablet, creating a whole new category of mobile device similar to the Tuan 1 hybrids that have taken over the laptop-tablet segment of the industry. Samsung Galaxy X is expected to be an extremely limited supply. Some rumors suggest the South Korean company will only release the smartphone in its native market, before rolling out worldwide later in 2018.